Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to give you a, a couple of really easy tips just to help you refresh your golf grips. We all know what it's like, it starts around about what February, March, April, the golf season here in the UK or anywhere in the world where you pull out your clubs again and you haven't used them for a while and the grips just feel a little bit slippy. So in this video I'm going to show you those really really quick tips with just some basic items that I'm sure you have in your house already just to give those golf grips a little bit of a refresh so they feel nice and tacky again. Okay, so if we want to just quickly refresh those golf grips, just to make sure they're really tacky and sticky again for the new season, you just need a handful of items that I'm sure you have in your house already. The first one is just one of these little scrubber sponges. It needs a really like rough edge, but then just a sponge at the back. The next item you might need, ideally, if you can pick up some of this, which this is, um, it's called Swarfiga, and this is um, like a hand degreaser that you can buy from like DIY, um, like trade, uh, like shops. Like in the UK, it's B&Q, it's Screwfix, it's Tool Station. In the United States, it's, it's, it's places like Home De Depot, um, Lowe's, they stock product like this. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. This is the best one to use, um, Swarfiga, it's brilliant. If you don't have this, it's okay. You can just use standard dishwasher uh, liquid. Uh, in the UK, this is this is Fairy. Again, does a very similar job, but I would really recommend using Swarfager. It's by far the best for this job. The next item you need is like a little scrubbing brush. Um, this can help just give the grips a little bit of a scrub, especially if you're using cord grips. And the final item is literally just a kettle of boiling water. It's really important, it's boiling water, fresh from being boiled, because this helps soften the rubber before we give it a scrub with the degreaser. And obviously you will need uh, a bowl um, and probably a sink just to do this job, which I'm going to show you now. It takes no more than a couple of minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to show you just quickly how to scrub this golf grip to get it back to being tacky and new again. This particular grip, I mean it's a Golf Pride Tall Velvet 360, but this works for all golf grips, corded grips, um, tour wrap grips, mixed compound grips, all types of golf grips that are rubber based, I will do this on. I'd be a little bit careful if you're using like a wrap golf grip, not, not a golf pride wrap grip, you know, it's more like a, um, like a wind grip or um, a super stroke wrap. I would really stick to just a rubber based grip. Okay, so first step is obviously got a sink and a, um, a bowl. Now I'm gonna turn the golf club upside down and then I've got my boiling hot water. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour this boiling hot water and you can see all that steam coming off it. Look, I'm just pouring it on the grip. What this is doing is, it's just gonna soften the rubber. Now, what you could do, this is another quick tip. If you wanted to, you could just get a taller bucket and you could soak the grips in really warm water. I would do that if the grips are really, really slippery and it's a last chance effort to get some tackiness out of them before we need re-gripping. But in this instance, you know, my grips here, they're not too bad. They've just, you can just tell, you know, with a bit of hand grease, because I've been playing golf with them, you know, it just, it just gets into the grip and it's just a bit slippy. I just want to tack and tack, tacky them up a little bit so I can get another season out of them. So that's it. I'm going to pour a bit more boiling water on it. And then I'm now going to take my scrubber and I'm going to soak it in the water. Now, warning, warning. I just said this is boiling hot water straight from being boiled from this kettle. You don't want to get it on your hands. You can burn yourself. So just be very careful. You might actually want to use like a rubber glove for this. But because I've just done this before, I feel comfortable with it, so I'm just going to grab the Swarfiga. Now, how much Swarfiga do you need? You don't need that much, to be honest with you. Um, you can just put your fingers in and just dab like a little bit, that's all. Maybe put your sponge in, dab some. All, all I'm doing is putting enough Swarfiga on here to get a bit of a lather. Look, can you see that? Look, as I start scrunching it up, look. There we go, that lovely lather. That's all I need. Now, with this boiling hot water already on the grip, I softened it. Literally, all I'm gonna do is scrub, like this. That's it, scrub, rotate the grip, scrub. Rotate the grip, scrub. So I'm scrubbing all the way around 360 of this grip. 
Very important, make sure you get the bottom, make sure you also get the top of the grip. Very important, okay? Look, you can see it, it's starting to go kind of brown anyway. It's just getting all that horrible hand grease off. There we go, look, I'm just giving it a really good rub and you can see the lather just forming. That's perfect from this Swarfiga soap. Again, you can use dishwasher detergent like I've got here or dish detergent, fairy liquid, but in this instance, Swarfiga is just better. I hope I'm saying Swarfiga correct, by the way. I've always called it Swarfiga. Maybe, maybe Swarfiga, maybe something like this. But anyway, giving it some more scrubbing, more scrubbing, more scrubbing. Again, you want to put some elbow grease into this, like literally scrub hard. The harder you scrub, the more lather you get and the deeper you're getting into the grooves of this grip. Now, if you're using a cord grip, you remember, I said if you have a scrubber, you might want to give that a go. Again, just dip it into the Swarfiga, Put it on and give it a scrub. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, it's a bit messy, it goes everywhere. But anyway, it's giving it a really good clean. Now, we're done. Next step, literally, back to the kettle. Pour it over. Make sure you get all the soap suds out. Very important you get all that soap out. And then for the next step, which is simply, I've got a towel down here, just a towel. I'm just gonna give it a good rub with a towel. Oh, you can hear that squeaking already. That tackiness has come right back. Okay. And that just needs to be left to dry. That's all. Just leave it to dry now until it's obviously properly dry. Um, and you'll feel it. I can, I can already feel how tacky that is. That's brilliant. And look how, look how clean it is. You can really see the white from this Tor Velvet 360. That is absolutely pristine. You see it? Pristine. It's unbelievable. That is, I don't know if you can hear that. That is really, really sticky again. Perfect. Brand new grip in a matter of seconds or minutes with a few household tools that you probably have already. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's useful. Please, please, please help other people find this video by uh, hitting the like button. You can subscribe to my content. I do lots of tips like this. Um, and even better, just leave your comments, any tips and tricks that you have. It'd be brilliant. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day.